But President Biden clearly has no worries on the sands of Rehoboth as Americans scrimp and scrape to get by. So while he is beachside, who is keeping us running? Joining us now is our own White House correspondent, Monica Page. Monica, your response to that 532 vacation days? That sounds pretty good. I wish I got 532 vacation days, but unfortunately it doesn't work that way for the average everyday American who works very hard, tirelessly at their jobs. And, you know, what's interesting is that many people are now living paycheck to paycheck and they have to spend more money just to live within their means. So many Americans are still currently in debt and, you know, they have to work maybe two jobs or more just to keep up with the current rate of inflation. I mean, that is just very telling of where we are in this current state of this nation. And what's interesting is that the president taking the amount of vacation days that he is seems to be kind of a jab at his fellow Democrats who pushed him out of the race, pushed him out of the White House. So it seems to me that this beach vacation for weeks at a time seems to be just kind of like a snub at not only the American people, but also his fellow Democrats that really just didn't want to see him in office anymore. Well, it's it's uh, certainly not a good message, especially if you are uh, the Democrat Party who says, you know, they're the party of workers when 23, 24 percent of the workforce does not even have access to vacation time. So you hear a headline like this and it must be Major spin time for the Democrat Party right now, especially for the Kamala Harris Biden campaign. Yeah, I mean, what's also really interesting is that President Biden is just going to be nowhere to be found while his vice president is going to well, be on the debate stage tonight. And by the time this airs, she would have already debated President Trump. But what's interesting is that she is not uh, really pushing forth anything new that she has to offer. She's going to stay towards Joe Biden's policies. It's basically a copy and paste of his exact same three and a half years into this now presidency or if that even comes to fruition. Uh, but what's also really interesting is that this message that he's sending Americans is that he just doesn't care anymore. He's seemingly disengaged, uh, just drawing himself back. I mean, he has to remember, I don't know if he does, but he's still running the country. You know, he's still the president of the United States. And he said that he was going to work tirelessly during that uh, Oval Office address to the nation that time where he said that he was going to back out of the race. Uh, he said he's going to work tirelessly and keep fighting for the American people from that time till January. But we have not seen much of anything from this president. We've just seen the back of his head on Rehoboth Beach. And I mean, he just returned back to the White House yesterday. I don't know about you, but it feels that we see so much uh, less of the White House, any mention of the White House, because every time the press does mention Biden, it's a reminder that Kamala Harris is very much a part of this administration. She is the incumbent in this race. She is not this individual rising phoenix for the party. She's very much tied to that man who's sitting on the beach and getting his tan in. And uh, it just seems that that's the spin that we're seeing, at, at least for the rest of America. What is the change that you're sensing on the ground at the White House as you cover it on a day-to-day -day basis these days? I mean, you pretty much nailed it, Chanel. It's mostly just like just all quiet. It just doesn't seem like the White House is even relevant. It doesn't really seem like we even have a president or anybody that's running the country. We don't hear from the president. When we hear from the press secretary, Corrine Jean-Pierre, in the press briefing room, it's just very much lame duck. She just outlines what the president is still very much focused on uh, and what Kamala Harris is going to be doing. But even when there's uh, questions surrounding the vice president, uh, she just kind of directs the question to her department or the campaign. So we still just don't really get a sense of really what's going on. We're left with more questions than answers. For all our viewers asking where One America News is heading in the future, we would like to introduce you to OAN Live. OAN Live is the best way to stay up to date on all of the hard-hitting, straight-shooting, national and international headlines. And the best part is, OAN Live is only $4.99 per month. All the credible, honest, unbiased reporting One America News offers at a fraction of the cost of cable. Just go to OANN.com to easily sign up for OAN Live and stay informed.